Fisherman, Aquadules here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys an update to my Giant Ball Park deck profile. Now I threw in a little bit of new spice into this deck, and at the end of the day, this deck really wants to just OTK. You know, it just says, fuck your X Negate board, um, I'm going to break it in OTK and go for game. So, throw in a couple cards to really just kind of help push for that, and... You know, honestly, if I really do enjoy um, just, you know, the new cards and it really just helps a lot better than I think overall, then I'm going to go ahead and just max already out a co uh, couple new cards. Don't want to just, you know, drop a crap ton of money if it ends up not being to my liking. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into this. So, starting off with the Vanillas, we're playing three shiny Black Sea Squatters, and then... Three copy of Insect Knight, still just the best two vanilla insects in the game. And yeah, just best way to go about it. You gotta play two different uh, vanillas. If you're playing one, you're not playing the deck right. Now going off to the Insect Monsters, we are playing three copies of the best insect, which is Resonant Insect. Still freaking really good, no once per turn on either effect. It leaves the field and goes to grave, add a little fiber higher insect. If it gets banished, foolish burial and insect. Three copies of the um, second best insect, which is Goki Pool. If it just goes to the grave, add a little four insect from deck to hand. If it's a vanilla, summon and pop something. Both effects are simultaneously on that. So, yeah, for those who don't know. Now, I'm also playing Kaijus, and I'm playing two copies of Gartala. And two copies of Kumungus. Uh, Konami, please give us the OTS Super for Gardala over here. It's one of the few Kaijus that doesn't have that. So uh, please make that happen. Now going off to Insect Extenders. I'm playing two copies of Aztecopede, the Worm Warrior. And then two copies of... Dar um, sorry, Danger Mothman. Just doing 2-2 two -two on these. Um, just because, like, they, they both got their niche, uh, you know, little unique things that they do. And, you know, I, I feel like I just can't cut one completely. With all honesty, so. Usually if I drop one, I'll drop the other. Well, drop a copy of one, I'll drop a copy of the other one. So, yeah. And I'm also playing... One copy of Doom Dozer, just a nice big level 8 easy some insect beat stick. Nothing else really to say on it. It's pretty search it's searchable, so yeah. Now for the new spice, I am playing three copies of four Mud Skipper. This card is ridiculously good. It is a one card OTK, and it's got like a lot of really cool little niche things that I can do in the deck. Which uh this video gets the uh, ten uh ten likes. I'll actually do a video going over the main combo for it and just like a couple other things you can do with it in the deck and kind of go in depth on it. Then I'm playing three copies of really good extender parallel X seed. Uh, works in tandem with the four mud skipper for a combo. Um, really good. Just in general, like this card's great. There's no reason not to play it if you're playing any, you know, like a rank four deck, so or just anything that can make rank fours. Now, going off to these spells, we are playing three copies of Ballpark. It is the best spell, like, it's the heart and soul of the deck, really freaking good. So, uh, if anyone would take battle damage, you basically make it to where no one takes damage. You summon three insects, or three vanilla insects, and it's pretty freaking good. It's basically what you're going to be using it for. Now, for monster removal, and this one in particular also spell removal, playing three copies of Lightning Storm, and I'm also playing three copies of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. If you can't afford the Lightning Storms, uh, it's kind of hard to really, you know, just replace. They do, I feel really, I feel like they really do matter in this deck. Um, only thing I could say is replace one of them with Geki, you know, Regeki, and maybe, um, what you call? I can't think of the card. Um, Demise of the Land, I think it is. What's it called? You could put the two of those in, I guess. But yeah, like this matters. So 
Now, going for one ofs, I play one copy of Double or Nothing, one copy of Terraforming, one copy of Foolish Burial, and then one copy of Gold Sark. And that's it for the main deck. Now going into the extra deck. Only two of for links that you'll play. I play is Insector uh, Pycophenia, just basically Digusto Emerald for insects. It's link two. It's pretty good. And then I play one Link Spider, one Almirage. Now for the new spice, I'm playing one copy of Ace Sky, uh, Sky Striker Ace Kina, one copy of Sky Striker Ace Hayate. They are relevant for the. Um, one um four months skipper OTK and you really just need Hayate and then any one of the other uh Link One uh Sky Striker monsters. I just decided to go with Kaina because honestly I feel like Kaina is just the best one to go for uh as far as like effects and you know uh arrow. Just just the just the better one out of the others I felt. Um this way if something happens and you know somebody interrupts you or something uh, you can at least still, you know, get something off of Kaina over here. So. Now, for the rest of the, the extra deck, I'm playing one copy of IP Mascarena, one copy of Nightmare Phoenix, one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, still play the BLS um, Soldier of Chaos here. Just because, honestly, it's a nice little backup to Avermax, which I'm also playing Avermax. I ended up cutting the Boral Sword for one of these two cards because Boral Sword doesn't ever do anything on this deck. This deck just naturally already OTK, wants to OTK, and like it's got lots of ways to do it, I feel. And I've never had to make Boral Sword before. It honestly just feels like a wasted slot to me, so... That's why I cut Boral Sword, and I also cut the, uh, um, what you call it, uh, Baguska. Just because, like, honestly, all these other XYZs, Baguska was the one I least used. So I play one uh, Abyss Dweller, one Utopia, one Utopia Double, and then Alamaris. Now, when it came down to cutting an extra deck monster, it was between Alamaris and Baguska. But I actually do use Alamaris um, mo way more than Baguska. Uh, Baguska is just kind of like if all else fails, you know, I have, if I can make a rank 4, I can make that and sit on it. Um, but Alamaris, you know, it, it's, I got like two combos that I use it for, and it's, it's just nice. Uh, it does more than Baguska as far as the deck goes, so... So that is it guys, hope you all enjoyed this video, go ahead and harpoon that like button, harpoon that subscribe button, like I said, if this video gets to 10 likes, I'll do the in-depth video for the format skipper, um, like combos, and just the little cool things you can do with it in this deck, like I feel like it's got things that you can just do in this deck that, you know, it's it doesn't really do in other things. And, you know, it's like, I know it got hyped and it died rather quick, but, you know, it's it's got some stuff here. So, go ahead and comment any comments y'all got as well. And go ahead and harpoon that subscribe button if you guys want to see more awesome content. Thank you guys so much for watching.